Oh, there, 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 there they are. It is a maid. Let's check this out. Hold on. These maps all look the same. That's a, uh, ooh, 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 a safe. Oh man, I need to find the combination. I can't leave a safe unopened. Okay, perhaps it's in here. Let us keyhole. What? What is that? Is that a coffin? Huh? Oh, pouch. This isn't a coffin. It's a chest. <laughs> okay. Grand. Now where the heck would they keep a safe combination? In the bedroom. That's where I would have it. Or the maid might have it on her person. Somewhere. Not sure exactly where. But somewhere on her person. I'm not going to be able to take either of them down individually though. Because they are quite intently staring at each other. Okay. Let's do this. It's got to be here somewhere. It really does have to be. Let us keyhole them. <laughs> Wait. Oh! Did you touch the door handle to Dr. Galvani's lab? Yeah. Is he gonna know? I think so. Then you have to scrub. The rats get their vital essences everywhere, the doctor <laughs> said. <laughs> Joke's on vital you, buddy. Vital essences? Does that mean guts? I think so. So your hands need scrubbing. I think You're so. You're unclean. Unclean? That's nonsense. Can't we just... No, I told you. Can't we just you. rub it on our pants it's or something? alcohol or white vinegar. <laughs> Okay. All right, all right. What is he doing there all day? Ambrose says he breeds rats that carry the plague. Your friends are ignorant. The doctor is a brilliant man. If anyone can save this city, it's him. The really? royal physician is going to save us. Nice. Mayor's new elixir is twice as good against the plague. I don't understand what? how Belvani can admire Sokolov. Oh, Sokolov. Royal physician or not, I hear tell he's a beast. A superstitious philanderer who spends more time with prostitutes than he does in the laboratory. <laughs> really? Is this what it's going he to kind be of like looked the type married? when I saw him at the start it of the is, game. Isn't it? I hope not. I'm telling you now, I don't have the endurance for it. <laughs> okay. Okay, you two. You just skedaddle. Get out of here so I can find that safe combination. You two watch yourself. You just get out of here. Look at them, moving in tandem. So cute. Now where did that guy go? I really need to upgrade the skill. And soon. Oh, he's going up to the top. Okay. Okay, now I've got some time. If I can just find where that maid went. I do not want to run into her. If I do, then I'm probably done for. Let's key all through here. Where'd she go? Huh? Can I just leave this activated indefinitely? There she is. There she is. Oh! It disabled. Okay. She's actually right here. I think I want to choke her. I think that's a good idea. I want to just get her out of the way so she doesn't get damaged accidentally in the crossfire or something. That's what I'm going to do. So, I'm going to make sure I understand exactly where this guy is going to walk to. Because he might actually come down the stairs again now. Or he's just going to keep patrolling up there. Hmm. Okay, he's busy. He's busy. I'm going to go for her. That makes sense, doesn't it? I mean, I don't want to hurt her, but I want her out of the way. <laughs> she didn't see it. There she is. Where's he? Where's he? I don't actually see him. No, 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 no. Girl? Girl? You're making a mistake right now. Oh, what the heck? Is she coming this way? No. No, she is. No, she's not. No, she's not. <laughs> okay. Oh! Her cone of vision is definitely coming out this way. <laughs> that was close. That was so close. Here we go. Here we go. Go, go, go. <laughs> Maybe I could have spoken to her. Oh, I didn't think about that. I did not think about that at all. And I gotta remember that there was a rat swarm. Somewhere down here. Not sure exactly where, but it was down here. Okay, I'm gonna put her in here. Can she fit in here? I hope so. Hope I'm not gonna like damage her or something. No, no, drop her, drop her. Dro drop the girl. No! Oh! Man, that didn't sound good. Shh, in here. Oh, girl! Cooperate! Okay. This is not working out as well as I wanted it to. But I gotta get her out of here. In the fireplace. No, there are rats here. 
You know what? I'll just take her with me. I'll just take the girl with me. I don't know where to... No, I can put her up here. This'll work. Here we go. You lie here on the table and chill. No, wait. I'm gonna eat her hands off. You lie here on the table and chill. Good girl. Good girl. Now I gotta find that other guy quickly. Take him down. <gasps> can I break this? Okay, no one heard. <laughs> nice. Such a vandal. But I had to do it. I need me those elixirs. <laughs> Look at her over there. Wow, that's embarrassing. That is incredibly embarrassing. Now. Ooh. Can I at least open it? Oh, good. Jolly good. I need to actually go up these stairs. Because that'll lead me to the room that I hadn't explored up there yet. Where's this dude? I'm gonna go for him now. And there are still two more downstairs. This is absolutely crazy. I feel it's better taking them all down, but there are so many of them. Okay. Don't turn around. Don't come this way. Get. Oh no, he's coming this way. He's actually coming this way. <laughs> he doesn't sound very happy either. Oh, you silly. Go, go, go. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I can do this. I can do this. He's a big guy, though. You little rat. <laughs> he was not expecting that shame. Just as he tried to step on that rat. Oh, I got a key. Galvani lab key. Glorious. I wonder if you don't get seen by them like that. Like what I just did there. If that counts as, like, your ghost rating or ghost run. Does that count towards it? Oh, really? This big guy is going to need a big table. <laughs> what is the note? Open. There we go. I'm just going to toss him up here. I know it might make a mess, but... <laughs> no! Oh, man. Is he off the... I'm not going to take the chance. Let's get him on here properly. Properly, please. There we go. Straight... No, don't fall off again! There we go. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Here's another little bull rat fetus. Wow. Glad we could see that one more time. <laughs> what is this? Are those rewired? Oh, spring razors. Okay. So I gotta check out. And this? Cleaning instructions. Dear Miss Benton. When cleaning my study, I ask that you constrain your efforts strictly to the floors. Please, at all costs, refrain from attempting to clean or arrange my bookshelf. In fact, it would be best to keep away from it altogether. Otherwise, I'd have to reconsider the terms of your employment. Regards, Dr. Galvani. P.S. Since I'll be out of the city for a few days, I've left next week's pay as well. The bank was closed, so I'm afraid it's short by half. You can count on me for the remainder of next week's... Oh, of next week, of course. Okay, fine. Whatever. So, what kind of clues did I get from that? Where is it? Mission clues. For some reason, Galvani warned... All oh, right, That's the bookshelf over there that I just opened. <laughs> Man, is that really going to keep her from discovering that it's the secret door? I mean, I could see that immediately. Immediately. She had to clean the floor, so she would actually have seen those scratches on the floor. Unless she's incredibly dense. Which is also quite possible. Then she could have missed it. Most definitely. That is scary. Is that like a rat goat? Wow. Maybe that is a bull rat. <laughs> what? I do not want to run into one of those things. Ever. Ever, ever. Okay, let's head out here. Now we can go down to the first floor. Oh, first we have a look around this floor. Then we go down to the first floor. What are these? Can I take them? I assume not. They're not glowing or anything, so... That's such a pity. And where was that swarm of rats? That's another thing I'd like to know. Heal. Not in here, apparently. Oh, wait, this is where I came from. This is where I came from. Okay. Don't do your fancy little moves here! Jeez Louise, Corvo. What if someone sees us? Or hears us? Rather. I mean, if they saw us, then they'd know how cool we were, but... That is not the best way to sneak around. Let's have a look. Ooh, ooh, this is where I'm going to find the safe combination. I said I'd find it in the bedroom, and I meant it. Somewhere here. 
in his journal perhaps moray pocket watch 50 coins i'll take it ooh, ooh, ooh. what is that sleep dots can never have too many of those is there anything under the bed now that i know that they can hide things under beds and under shelves and stuff like that i gotta keep my eyes open i really do journal i've been invited to a soiree at the Boyle estate of course i won't attend <laughs> of course you won't. The 28th day of the 7th month, the month of the of high cold, is the day I met Anton Sokolov at the academy. Why would I tarnish the anniversary of the most important day of my life by licking aristocratic boots? Why would that be the most important day of his life? I have no time for fools. I will be solving the riddle of this plague. Perhaps I'll raise a cup of Tivian Red. J. The most important day of Dr. Galvani's life is 28-7. The 28th day of the 7th month. No ways. The most important day of his life. That's the code. That has got to be the code. Let's go to Skara. No, no, don't run. Don't run. Slowly. Calmly. Let's go check it out. <laughs> I can't believe it. They wouldn't give me a little hint like that if that wasn't it. That's got to be it. And why would the journal just be open on that page? 28. 7. Please work, please work, please work. And have something good in you. Oh, yes! <laughs> oh, wow. Huh? Ingots. 100 each. That's impressive. Thank you very much, Galvan. And I apologize for robbing you blind. <laughs> wow. It's all in the day's work. I'm going to need that, and I'm going to use it to its fullest. Purchase me some new... Ooh. New gadgets. Maybe get some uh, ammo for my crossbow. The sleep dots seem useful. The only dots that I actually use, I guess. There the rats are. I see them. Okay. What is that sound? Is this thing? Wow. I like it. It's actually very nice. Now, yeah, gotta sneak down here without alerting the guards. I guess if I can't see them with this, then they're not close enough to see. Oh, wait. Maybe they are. He's actually right there. And the swarm of rats? Yeah, it was like right here in this room. Shh. Oh, no, 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 no. This is not good. Okay, wait. I'm gonna jump down here. <laughs> okay, and I'm gonna go around. That sounds like a good idea. Rats everywhere. This guy was actually a little bit obsessed. What? Are they swearing at each other? Guys, guys, guys. If you're going to be patrolling together for the rest of eternity, you can just as well try get along. Okay. Oh. What? <laughs> Seems like they don't really like Slackjaw. Wow. Okay. The third stricture. Now this one I think I may have read. I think. Excerpt from a work detailing one of the seven strictures. Restrict the restless hands, which quickly become the workmates of the outsider. Unfettered by honest labor, they rush to sordid gain. Vain pursuits and deeds of violence. Of what value are the hands that steal and kill and destroy. Instead, put your hands to the plow, the fork, and the spade. For even the lowliest labor that is rigorous, uh, that is rigorous squeezes the muscles as a sponge, rinsing impurities from mind and body. That actually reminds me of Bioshock, of what Andrew Ryan said when you first entered Rapture. Kind of the same. And that's actually not bad. Hard work. Hard work is always good. It'll keep you busy. So many bolts. Avoiding the rat plague. Wow, there are only books regarding the rat plague in here. Nothing else. And one seven strictures book. Excerpt from a government protocol on disease practices. Much of the public still harbors false beliefs related to the plague. It is not true that the bile from the river crusts will protect against contraction of the disease. 
Man, why would they think that? Nor is it true that crushed mole orchids act as a remedy. Though it is speculated that both of these ingredients are used in both Sokolov's elixir and Piero's remedy. Consumption of these products before exposure to the plague constitutes the only known means of resisting the disease. Further, the Abbey of the Everyman warns against superstitious practices. Not only is it ineffective to burn two hagfish and a cat together. <laughs> what? Who would do that? Inhaling the vapors while chanting the names of the plague dead. But it's also considered heresy by the overseers and will be met with the full measure of the Abbey's laws. It's also considered a little bit cray cray. So don't do it. That's from me. Corvo. Or lumen. Tell your neighbors and practice these things by yourself. Avoid contact with the infected. Consume your ration of elixir daily, preferably in the morning, and report anyone suspected of carrying the plague. Everyone must work together to stop the spread of the dreaded contagion. That actually sounds really, really bad, but at the same time, wow. Did they think that burning two fish and a cat together <laughs> would save them? That is so so superstitious old wives tales to the max what is that sound i actually have no oh that is a slinky looking guy and dirty dirty too am i actually even going to be able to take these two guys down you know with these two i might actually try use is there anything here my dots again because why not i've got so many of them that I could just take like a pot shot at one of these guys. <laughs> oh! There's a third one. There's a third one over there. No ways. Okay. I think if I shoot the guy over there first. No, wait. There's the gap. That is the gap that I need. Right there. While that guy's fiddling over there, I need to come out and take this guy down. Hmm. Is that a good idea, though? No, perhaps it is best if I use darts here. I mean, I know I don't want to kill anyone, but at the same time, it could still happen. It could potentially still happen. Accidentally. So, get my sleep darts out. Which ones are the sleep darts? Crossbow, sleep darts. There we go. Perfect. Let's do this. Can I peek and dot? Goodness, now they're both together over there. Really? Oh! <laughs> they don't actually have any rhyme or reason to their little walk-in, do they? They just randomly stroll around the room. Okay. I don't think opening the door makes a noise, so I'm going to open the door, shoot one of them, then close the door again. <laughs> that sounds like a good idea. Here we go. Disable it. Enable it again. Get my sleep dots out. Now they're staring at each other again. Come on, you two. Come on. Just turn around so I can shoot one of you. There we go. There we go. Now that guy must just start moving, then I'm good. Oh, jeez Louise. Here we go, here we go. Okay. Down here. Around this way. No! Oh, man! He's right there. There we go. There we go. I can, dude. I really can. And take... <laughs> yes! It worked! Chill. Chill. This is exactly what I wanted to do. This is exactly the outcome I wanted! All three of them asleep in a little pile. No one did. Well, not all three of them. One's over there, but still. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Now I just need to get them somewhere safe. Like, up here. That's not gonna work. That is so not gonna work. Where can I put them? Maybe up here. Hop! On the couch. That's definitely not safe. Come on. Come on. Up on top of this thing. There we go. No, that's, that's also not going to work. 
Really? Aha! Here we go. In bed. Perfect. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, that was the lot of them. So I can actually just freely run around here. And that's perfect. Now, I just want to have a look everywhere. Maybe there's a basement. Who even knows? And then head out to the distillery. But, sadly, that's going to be it for this video. Check back here soon for more. Most importantly, though, Happy finally taking these three guards down. I think that was a lot of them. <laughs> Happy that. <laughs> Thank you.